Nancy Pelosi has unleashed her uh, task force to investigate, I'll put that word in quote marks, the roots of January 6th. Uh, but it's uh, turning out to be not really a bipartisan commission. Well, there's Liz Cheney on it, but Liz Cheney seems to have arrived at the conclusion that she has no future in the Republican Party and she may as well behave like a Democrat because her road ahead has got to be uh, painted with a big D. Um, now, the discussion around this is focusing on the politics of it. Um, the um, Republican leader, Kevin McCarthy, wanted to appoint um, people like um, Jim Jordan and Jim Banks to this commission. The Democrats essentially vetoed them. Pelosi did. And so McCarthy goes, well, listen, you know what? If, you, if, if we don't get to pick our Republican members, I mean, what is this, a one-party state? The Democrats get to choose even their opposition that's going to be uh, on this commission. So McCarthy goes, we're out of here. And, uh, and I think this has actually been a win for the Republicans because it, uh, it removes any shred of bipartisan credibility that this commission might have. But the comic aspect of all this is they're investigating something where they don't want to provide the answers to the really critical questions. Now, the Republicans say, we're well, start our own commission. And I hope they do. And if they do, these are the questions I actually want to know the, the answers to. Number one, um, in what sense is um, January 6th even described or could be described as an insurrection? Um, none of the participants call it an insurrection. Uh, their stated motive is completely different. Uh, and stated, stated motives are critical here. At 9-11, the stated motive of the terrorist was to inflict a grievous blow against America. And um, so what you have here is we want to know what their motives were. Their motives, I think, were to demand an honest count of the vote. Number two, what was the actual justification, or was there one, for a black Capitol police officer shooting Ashley Babbitt through the neck, even though she seemed to pose no imminent threat either to him or to anyone else? There were lots of armed uh, officers there at the time. Uh, yes, the woman was coming through a window. Yes, she broke the law, but George Floyd broke the law. Does that mean George Floyd deserved to die? Um, wasn't there a way to apprehend Ashley ba uh, Babbitt or shoot her in the leg, perhaps, uh, as opposed to a lethal shot that killed her almost instantly? Number three, why did Nancy Pelosi reject repeated requests for additional security? What did Nancy Pelosi know? What was her reason for rejecting uh, the additional security? Um, even though there had been, according to the FBI, prior warnings that there might be some trouble at the Capitol. Number four, the big one. What was the role of the FBI in this uh, January 6th event? Uh, did the FBI infiltrate the Proud Boys and the Three Percenters and the Oath Keepers? Or did the FBI instigate the attack? Did the FBI put them up to it? Did the FBI go, let's storm the Capitol? Why do I say this? Because if you go back to the Gretchen Whitmer kidnapping, it's now become pretty clear that it was an FBI guy who said, let's storm the Capitol in Michigan. So you notice a kind of chillingly similar MO. Uh, the FBI's, op and by the way, the FBI guy who ran the um, the Michigan operation and in infiltrated the, uh, the group uh, was then transferred to D.C. And he's apparently not now involved in the January 6th inquiry. Uh, finally, uh, has January 6th been exploited politically as a kind of Reichstag fire event? In other words, uh, the event becomes the pretext for a much broader militarization of the Capitol, for a much broader empowering of the Capitol Police, who, by the way, are now demanding nationwide surveillance powers to supposedly thwart future threats to the Capitol. So all of these, these are the real questions surrounding January 6th. They will most emphatically not be answered by the Pelosi Commission, but it's an open question whether they will be answered by the GOP alternative.